Hello, my viewers. Welcome back to the channel. My video title and the video is about what went wrong in Steelers versus the Bills game. And it's three things I feel like that kind of been going wrong. It's more of a what went wrong, actually. What's going on wrong right now really with the team. And I feel like it's mostly to do with coaching staff. The coaching staff is holding us back. And by coaching staff, it's only one person in the coaching staff that's holding us back. And Matt Canada, like that. Because, you know, you look at guys like Terrell Austin. He's been doing a solid job. Um... The coaching, but like when the defense is out there so long, it just make it very difficult for you to do anything because the defense get tired and they playing more minutes than the start than the offense is playing minutes, and then you can't run the ball, so the clock ain't clock ain't moving like it like it's supposed to move, and we just get like wearing our defense out. You see all the injuries happening, all the concussions, you are seeing hamstrings, and you seeing all these injuries that's building up, back sprain from um Larry OG. So we got a lot of things that's happening. So I, I we gotta get it together, and um it really starts with the the offense, the offensive coordinator, Matt Canada. The scheme that he's running is not working. He remember last year they had the report that mentioned he said he wanted the a mobile QB. He got a mobile QB and Mr. Trubisky. Mr. Trubisky was his mobile QB. They said, oh, it didn't work out. Pick Kenny in. Pick Kenny in. And Kenny do you, you, of course you see Kenny, you see like the more more flair, you see more spark. And you know the potential there and the talent there. But it's still the same result. Not putting points on the board. The points are not adding on the board because he think his scheme is better than the player. And most you know, most like offensive coordinators and most most coaches. They then try to build the um, scheme around a player to put them in the best position. They go by the player play style and put them in their best position so they can succeed with the play call they love. Like the Ravens did with remember when Joe Flacco was the quarterback with the Ravens. Joe Flacco got injured. Lamar Jackson came in. They built the whole offense for Lamar Jackson. The RPOs were still there. We're doing the um, play action rollouts, doing the read options, doing everything. Just like getting Lamar Jackson comfortable. Same thing with Mahomes. Mahomes went out there at the Alex Smith. Alex Smith style was a little more conservative like that. And on the West Coast like style, Mahomes is kind of like a spread, you no know, better than a spread offense, spreading the ball around the field, using every inch of the field, and doing the empty empty sets and everything, and just like using his arm talent out there. And that's what you gotta do. I feel like you gotta adapt to the player and the personnel. But I feel like Mike Canada, I think not Mike Canada, Matt Canada, feel like that his scheme is better than the players. Like, oh, my scheme gonna work, but the scheme doesn't work. It's like like a college scheme that he's running, a high school scheme that he's running, and it's it's not helping us at all. It's like it's just it's hurting our team. And we um became still on offense, and you know playing against elite teams like the Bills, you're not going to win. You're going to get blown out of the waters, and it's, and it's terrible. And it's a good thing Mike Tomlin said in the press conference that he is. He said absolutely. Like, he he let them he let them finish. Bird let them finish. He was absolutely. The, I would consider some changes to. They, they mentioned the coaching staff. And they said pl player personnel, and you, you got to really. And I've seen a lot of suggestions of people saying promote Brian Flores, uh, promote him to the offensive coordinator like that. That would be a very good suggestion. Brown Flores is an amazing head coach. He's an amazing coach. My will bring him up. You can um, fire Matt Canada, demote him, do something, but take him away from offensive coordinator position because, like, the scheme that he's running is not working. It's not, it's been, our offense has been stale for the past three years. People blamed it on Randy Fittner, and then he left. Matt Canada came in, basically the same as Randy Fittner. I think Randy Fittner might have been a little better. And then, people remember, people hated Ty Haley. They was like, oh, Ty Haley, not good, but and they tried to get Ty Haley fired. Um, he was on there. He put up 38 points in the playoff game. And I know him and Big Ben didn't get along. It looks like they bumping heads and stuff. But we were still scoring. We were putting up big numbers. And we, went, we went, what, 13-3 what, that year? We was going crazy with the um, points with Juju getting involved, Le'Veon Bell involved, having Tony Brown, of course, involved, Big Ben involved, and Martinez Bryant they, was there back that year as well. And we was just booming at that. But now our offense is kind of stale, hasn't been the same. And I feel like it's the coaching staff that's holding us back. And the reason I say coaching staff, you know, Mike Tomlin, I'm not saying that we need to change Mike Tomlin now, of course. Of course not. Mike Tomlin is a very good coach. But he's allowing it to happen. He's allowing Matt Cannon to stay in this long. So the Ben took him out. To the, to the Ben um, threw him out a while ago. He allowed this to happen. But maybe now he gets to his senses. Remember Mr. Bisky thing? He switched, made that switch to Kenny Pickett early on, something that he wasn't probably planning on doing until next year. And then Matt Canada he might make a switch too. And like since you have since you don't, if you might not want to bring a guy in and learn a full new offense right now, you got Brian Flores. Brian Flores is already within the team. They say he's like a, a senior coaching assistant, wherever he is, like that. So they say he's been helping around a lot of stuff like that, like helping people in different areas. So maybe he probably already knows some stuff. He might come back with his own scheme. His scheme might be easier to learn. Put him in, promote him as the offensive coordinator, and let's get this thing going. Cause um, I don't know. I know it's a lot of games. There's 13 games left. We can't sit and waste all these early games. Cause I'm telling you, the early games come back to bite you, especially the ones we lost to the AFC team. We lost to the Jets. AFC team lost. We lost to the Browns. AFC team lost. And now the Bills. That's three losses to AFC teams like that. And, um, you know, those, those add up. And again, in the end, when it comes close to the playoff on um, races, they be like, oh, you lost to the Jets. 
you lost to those teams like that, they might have a, a better edge on you or something like that. So we got to start winning these games and start stacking them up. I, uh, at the beginning of the season, I had us going 12-5. and five. I had the, I seen the full roster with TJ Wide and all those guys. But now I see us probably going I, – I think we can still muster out 9 or 10 wins. We can muster out 9 or 10 wins for sure. But um, we got to put in the work. Put in the work. We got to get back to it and just, like, get to that old Steeler football. When our offense was very good, remember back in 2018 – 2017, 16, 15, 14, my offense was 2013, like off, offense was at its peak. Like, the prime years of our offense, we've been kind of like stuck in like just like me below me. Now we're kind of below mediocre. We used to be like just an average offense, and now we're like below average offense, and it's just like not, it hasn't been good at all. It's been very terrible. And so hopefully we can get something going and hopefully a change happen. We've seen a change. The quarterback, can he pick it through 300 plus yards? He looked comfortable out there, and like when we threw the ball on early downs, it was working, but we start trying to implement. Like, like we, we we don't want them to run the ball, they run the ball. When we do want them to run the ball, they pass it. Like, like when we was passing the ball in the air, Kenny Pickett and George Pickens was connecting. It was um, he, he was firing on all cylinders early in the early downs. In the first drive you seen, so early drives, and they killed a drive off doing these like the same thing, predictable. We go run, oh maybe a halfback draw, run, and on third down you throw it, and then they send the pressure in on third down. You know, make it a little difficult for the throw, especially for the rookie who's still learning and getting experience. So you want to make it. Throw on early downs, throw on first down, throw on second down, mix it up like that. Don't do that, make it like stay on the stacking like we just take what we can kind of take and say take what we get on third down. It making the it didn't make the team like just put it set us back. I and mean, then you play a team like the Bills, you can't go three and out every time against those guys. You're just gonna lose. So hopefully we can make a change. Hopefully we can switch some things up. But that's all I got for you guys this video today. If you like this video? Leave a like and subscribe. And I see you guys next. Hopefully I, next time I see you guys to be Victory Monday. Cause we haven't had one of those since week one when I did the Victory Monday and MVPs. So hopefully that's the next time I see you guys. But if we don't make a change, I'm going to see you guys on Can We Adjust. So peace out.